and how do we do it in a way that is authentic to ourselves that doesn't feel like we're being manipulative or false how do we do that and here is the answer you do it by so you're bad at FE and you want to improve it let's take a drive and talk about it There's a lot of people who come into the forum and they say, I'm really bad at FE. How do I get better? And here's the thing though, is I really don't like using FE. I really don't want to sit there and try to be more emotional. I don't want to, I really don't know how to do that. So how can I do that? And here's the thing, how can I be authentic when I'm doing it? I don't want to pretend and give this pretend FE so how do I do that? And it's actually much simpler than you might imagine. Now, of course, you might be thinking, who cares about Epi? What is it even needed for? I get along pretty well, my job goes fine. So what do I even need Epi for? And there was a study that was done that was talking about people moving up in the corporate world and moving up that work ladder. And what they found was people who were promoted more often were actually, the one thing that really put them over the top was their likability. And see, that's the thing, is you would think that it is your skills. And yes, very many people who are highly skilled can move up and will get recognized, especially the more skilled you are, the more people are willing to overlook how you come across. Maybe that you don't get along with everybody, but you have such a great skill set that they're willing to kind of work through that with you. But if you are somebody who is, you know, does well, but you are not liked by the tribe, then you are going to suffer. You will be ostracized. And when you're thinking about hiring somebody, moving them up to maybe work with you, maybe you're the supervisor, who are you going to pick? The person that does really well, but you can't get along with, or somebody that you can get along with just perfectly. There was another study done, and this was done by, I, at least I believe it was by, maybe she was quoting the study, but I believe it was done by her and her company, and that is Vanessa Van Edwards. And she does body language, you know, um, understanding why people do the things they do. And one of those things that she wanted to ask was, what makes somebody popular? What makes them the most popular person? So she did a study and she said, you know, is it is it looks? Is it, you know, kind of a, is it this kind of charisma that they bring? You know, and that's really hard to define exactly what charisma is. But they were trying to figure out, you know, what is, what is that, those secret magic ingredients that make somebody the most popular person? And what they found isn't what you would think. And you would probably, if you had to kind of guess and assume, you'd probably say, well, it's probably uh, probably looks, right? You know, it's the quarterback, it's the cheerleader. That's probably the most popular person. And they found that's not what it is. Um, you know, obviously your looks aren't gonna hurt you, but if, you know, if you have them, but that's not what it was. And they found the most popular person, the most liked person was the person who liked the most people. So in other words, it was that person who was friendly to everybody who, and you've probably run into this yourself, you know, back when you were in school or if you're still in school and you think about the most popular person, it is not just the best looking person because there are many, you know, great looking people who are not liked very much. Um, their personality makes them ugly. And so, you know, 
being getting having really good looks can only get you so far as far as being liked by everybody you have to like other people you have to give the same amount of attention to you know the the person who's not very high on the social ladder versus the people who are and you're kind and nice and friendly to everybody you say hi to everybody you treat everybody the same those are the people who are the most popular is that they like other people now for the people who are asking this question this fe question how do i get better at fe how do i ingratiate myself into the tribe better when i don't have that naturally i don't have the charisma um, or i you know what i just can't fake that part you know if we want to debate things if we want to talk about things i can do that all day with people but i don't know how to get across that boundary of how do we just find this area where we can just kind of agree and have a friendly conversation how do i do that and i'm going to give you the very simple answer on how that's done and it's not going to be as difficult as you think so how do we fe and how do we do it in a way that is authentic to ourselves that doesn't feel like we're being manipulative or false how do we do that and here is the answer you do it by finding where you agree and I'll give you an example. So I walked into a meeting that was hadn't started yet and there was a person who was talking and they were an ESTP and he was going over and talking about how there was a soccer game that was happening this weekend and he was really excited about it and these two teams and I don't know anything about soccer. And so I didn't really have much to talk with him about. <clears throat> I didn't have much to add to the conversation. And so of course I really didn't say anything. And it was obvious that he was very excited about it. And whenever he stopped, kind of nobody had anything to say. And so this is what I said. Now, remember, I don't watch soccer. I don't know anything about the teams. I don't really care for soccer. I find it kind of boring. I don't really care to watch this long game where the score ends with 1-0 or 0-0. That doesn't sound very interesting to me. Now, I could say that. I could say, well, I never really liked soccer. I don't even find it interesting. But why would I say that? It's, he didn't bring up that discussion to, to debate it and say, you know, is soccer, is soccer, and this is uh, American soccer, is soccer a good sport? Is it fun compared to others? It wasn't a debate. So why am I, why would I bring that up as some kind of debate and go over what I think about it and what I dislike about it, my opinion about it. That's not what the conversation is. He is bringing up his joy about it. He's bringing up what he likes about it. So I need to find, if I want to speak about this, I need to find where I agree. And so one thing that I can say, and this is what I did say, was that I did used to play soccer whenever I was young. And I really did enjoy it. And so that's what I said. I said, uh, you know, I don't really watch soccer a lot these days, but I used to play it whenever I was a child. I really liked it. But there's no way I could do that now. There's no way I could keep up with running back and forth across the field. Um, but... 
So that's just, that's where we agree. We agree that we found something enjoyable about the sport. And I referenced something that was authentic and something that was true. And that's how I'm able to, to talk to that person and find a place where we agree. Now there is some science behind this and of course that wasn't done manipulatively. I don't really gain anything from that. I'm just being friendly. But if I want to go the science route and say, well, what did that do underneath on, on kind of the scientific level? What that does is that has the other person see you like them. They say, hey, you're like me. We agree with each other. I see you like me. We, we are the same. And, and so they are now going to be more friendly towards you, right? Because you are the same. You're, you're like me. And we get along. And there's a chance that if I say something else about something else, we could agree on that. And so that's how you're going to do that with other people. You're not going to bring a differing opinion unless it is a debate, unless that is what the conversation is. That's fine. Then go ahead and bring up your difference of opinion, bring up how you see it. That's what the conversation is. But if that's not what the conversation is and the person says, oh, I went and saw, you know, this, I went and saw this artist um, at a concert this weekend and you're like, oh, I can't stand that, that group. That's just honestly one of the worst groups I've ever heard. Like, why, why would you say that? How is that integrating yourself into the tribe and having other people see you in that kind of F.E friendly manner that's not that's not going to help you and so again and and here's the thing if you don't have anything where you can agree so maybe it is Taylor Swift and you just cannot stand Taylor Swift gets on your nerves for whatever reason you just don't like anything about her that's fine then as they say if you don't have anything good to say then don't say anything at all if you can't find where you agree then simply don't say anything. You don't have to say anything, that's fine. But if you can, you go, oh, you know, that's, uh, and they say, well, I went and saw Taylor Swift at this venue. Maybe where you can agree is, oh, I've been there before. I actually saw this group and I, I love the sound there. It's, it is a great place to see concerts. See, I, I agreed with you. I didn't, I wasn't false. I wasn't inauthentic. I was true to myself. I was talking about something I liked, but I found a way that I agreed. And that's how you're going to work on being able to have that FE with people, with having that agreeableness. And I think you'll find that things change for you. You're going to also see them as different because they're going to start seeing you as different and you're going to see that change and go, and you're going to go, you know what? These people are actually pretty nice. They're pretty, I kind of... They're kind of down to earth and it, it's weird how it changes your mindset. When you change your mindset, it changes how you view other people too. And so if you are the person who's going around being agreeable and liking people, you're going to suddenly find that other people are agreeable with you and like you. That's how that works. So give that a shot see how it goes try this little cheat code and see how it works for you and see how it benefits your life we'll see you on the next drive take it easy